Welcome to Click My Project Tech. We discussed about the process lossless compression on chain code by using MTFT and ARD. In recent compression in the large data is to be very difficult. We have to compress the data by some powerful algorithmic techniques. For efficiency in large amount of data system, we have to use two algorithmic methods called as move to friend transform and adaptive run length encoding. We have to handle the data with a little essential different entropy levels to create an input value for to applying to the encoding for compressing the data. One of the new approaches in lossless text compression is to be applied to the reversible lossless transformation to source code before applying any other existing compression algorithm. The transformation is meant to make the code compression easier. The original text is ordered to the transformation input and its it output is transformed text. Further applied to an existing compression algorithm, decompression uses the same methods in the reverse order. Decompression of transformed text is worst and the inverse transformation after that. This is the flowchart of our process for chain code lossless compression using MTFT and ARE compression algorithms. When you, first of all, we take input data as color images to be the three dimensional image for input. And next step, we have to uh, execute the move to front transform. The move to front transform is an encoding data designed to improve the performance of entropy encoding techniques of compression. The MTF scheme simply to move to front the last symbol to see such as the index in table of codes become zero. The MTF coding is an inherent part of the locally adaptive data compression scheme. The MTF encoding algorithm will output for the strands of distinct bytes the same run of zero bytes. The first run byte will immediately accurate the position value of zero and even eventually this zero byte will be the one transmitted as output code for next run of same byte. The move to run scheme is more powerful than run length transform is since it can transform not, not just runs of bytes but also the other kinds of string patterns. The next step we have to execute the run adapt run length encoding, adaptive run length encoding. Adaptive coding is operated to variants of entropy and coding methods lossless compression. The, they are particularly suited for streaming the data as they adapt to localize the changes in the characteristics of the data and don't require the first pass over the data to calculate the probability model. The advantages is that to encode the decoder must be more complex to keep the states synchronized and more computational power is needed to keep adapting the encoder and decoder state. The adaptive run length encoding and typical JPEG compression with the run length encoding codes do not to transmit the model. The lot of other methods adapt to the models to the current file and the need to transfer it in the additional to encode the data. Because both encoder and decoder need to be the model, the next step is compression. The compression is for to be very helpful to the previous steps as name, named as a mode of front transmission and run length encoding that compression process to be executed using that both steps of the decompression is the reverse process of the compression. First we have to reverse the process of run length encoding and then uh, calculate the entropy and then we have to inverse the process of move to run transform. This is the decompression process to be inverse the chain code process. The output output data is to be very powerful for from the input data. It is the flowchart mode process. In order to be successful any decompression algorithm has to follow the compression process in the inverse order. The first two bits in the binary file is read at first and they correspond to the number of MTFT iteration n which should be remembered for successfully executing the third step. The remaining bits in the binary file are decompressed and the stream of symbols is to be obtained. IMT FT is applied n times upon the stream of symbols is giving us a sequence of chain codes. The decompression is slightly more computationally efficient, namely Shannon's information entropy is not calculated. Therefore, the proposed compression algorithm can be considered as non-symmetric. This is the MATLAB main window. 
this in this main window we have to run the um, our folder from the current folder this is the common window whenever you run any code in matlab the execute in windows common window this is workspace this workspace saved all variables and function and values of our coding this common history any workspace obtained in common window is to be stored in the common history in this current folder we have to select our input file the test mtf.m is our input file right click the name test mtf click run this is the window for choose the input for our file we, we have to choose the input three images from that I take only one input image I take 17 click open now we have to run the coding for corresponding output of our chain code last plus using MTFT and A RLE algorithms now I have to save the compressed image of our process CC I, I need to run I need to give name one for the compressed image I give triple C save then I have output for final process of our now we I, uh, I have to save the output image save I need to give one name for output image click save this is the compression ratio of our process for output image from using the chain core lossless and MTFT and the ARLE programs click ok this is the output image this is the SNR value signal to noise ratio value of the compressed image and the decompressed image comparison the SNR value is to be high the compressed image of our process click ok this is the compressed image of our process our compressed image should be shown as that format of our file this to be saved in one other, uh, another folder this is the entropy value of a compressed image this is the red green and blue image entropy values of that this is the compressed image entropy value this to be compared to the original image entropy value of our process there are blue green and red values this is the entropy value of input image this is the SNR value of input image the SNR value of input image and the SNR value of decompressed image is to be same and the SNR value of compressed image to be high from the original and decompression image this is the entropy value of our input image click ok click ok this is the input image of our process now we have to conclude our process from chain code compression has to become popular research subject over the last decade methods present to date have been primarily based on human coding of individual chain code symbols or selected symbol combinations this however requires a statistical analysis of the expected probabilities of the chain code symbols the probabilities of a yeah, symbol appearing at determined in advance according to the statistics investigation however in this way it could happen that the hard coded statistical model does not fit optimally to the actual shape storing the best fitted statistical method in a file together with a compressed chain codes is especially incident thank you